Welcome to Marvelous Designer Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we will create various types of skirts, such as pencil, straight, A-line, flared, gathered. In this course, we will look at the principles of ruffle and flare design. From now on, let's make basic base skirt and pencil skirt. For those using 9.5 and up, we have grouped more tools for a cleaner user interface. Please, long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all the tools in the tool group. First, I will bring up Female B Avatar. This time, we will create a pattern from scratch based on the avatar's shadow in the 2D window. Select the Rectangle tool from the 2D window toolbar. Click and drag at the waist position of the avatar in the 2D window to create the belt pattern of the skirt. Since the shadow of the avatar is seen from the front, it is made wider than the shadow considering the side of the avatar. At this time, the pattern will be used by symmetry left and right. Right-click on the belt pattern and select the symmetric pattern with Sewing menu. Select two front belt patterns and press Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V to copy them to the back belt pattern. Place belt patterns. If you place the pattern in the arrangement point, you can use the placement menu in the pattern properties window. In the belt pattern properties, adjust the arrangement offset menu to adjust the pattern closer to the avatar's body. Sew the side lines of the belt pattern with Segment Sewing Tool. After selecting the entire pattern with the Transform Pattern Tool, right-click and apply the Strengthen menu. It is not to make the garment stiff while simulation so that it is well positioned on the waist of the avatar. After selecting the entire pattern, Change the particle distance to 10. If you lower particle distance, you could simulate small patterns more stably. As we strengthened it, the garment is positioned well around the waist. After the belt is created, freeze the patterns. The reason for creating a belt pattern first is that to make a pattern where the bottom skirt part can be attached. This time, we will make a skirt pattern by copying the belt pattern. Control plus C, Control plus V after selecting all belt patterns. Using the gizmo, separate the skirt patterns from the avatar. After selecting all skirt patterns, right-click and select Unfreeze. With the Edit Pattern tool, select the bottom line of the front and back of the skirt and drag it down. With Segment Sewing tool, sew belt and skirt patterns. After simulation, Pinch the garment on 3D window to adjust draping. As we are going to make a tight skirt, let's check the silhouette by changing the pose of the avatar to straight pose. In the pose folder, double click straight pose to change it. You can see the silhouette of the tight pencil line skirt. Select Main Map from Garment Fit Maps on the left side of the 3D window. You may be able to complete the outfit in this way, but when you're making other details on the skirt after this, 
If there are too many red areas, it means that there is a risk that the simulation will become unstable as there is a strong strain on the area. Now we will edit the shape of the pattern and modify it to fit the avatar's body. The most important thing is to find the largest part of the body. Of the skirted areas, the hips are the largest. Therefore, we will increase the pattern width of the part. In the 3D toolbar, mark the hip position with the line 3D pattern tool. Select the Add Point Split Line tool from the 2D toolbar. Right click on the sideline based on the hip line shown on the back pattern. To input the same value as the front sideline, enter approximately 150 millimeters. Right click on the front sideline and enter the same value, 150 millimeters. We will save the garment so that we could use it for base garment later. For basic clothes, if you save the garment in the middle of the process, you could use it to create another design. After selecting the hip points with the Edit Pattern tool, drag it outside the pattern to widen the hip width. After simulation, check the strain map. Check the strain map by simulating it incrementally. If you look at the clothes in the 3D window, the horizontal part of the hip is displayed in green and stable. There are red areas around the hips. Let's adjust this part by editing the sideline and the entire line. First, I'll round the pointed part of the hip point. Click the hip point with the Smooth Curve tool and drag it to the end. With the Edit Pattern tool, select points on the sideline, right-click and convert to curve points. After selecting the bottom points of the skirt line with the Edit Pattern tool, move it outside the pattern to increase the width. The color of the strain map on the bottom skirt has been stabilized and displayed in blue. Click on the hip point with the Edit Curvature tool and drag it outside the pattern to increase the hip width. If you look around the garment, you can see that there are reed areas around the waist. If you round the waistline, the length of the line increases slightly and fits well with the avatar. Using the Edit Pattern tool, lower the center point of the waist of the front and back patterns between approximately 20 to 30 millimeters. Click and drag the waistline with the Edit Curve Point tool to make it curved. The important thing here is that both corners of the end of the waistline should be at right angles. The red area has been stabilized, and it is displayed in green color. Delete the lines with the Edit Line 3D Pattern tool. Like this, we made a pencil skirt with a stable shape. In 3D form only, it is the same as the base garment that we saved previously. However, the shape of the 2D pattern is different. If the skirt is completed in a very simple base form, you can complete it with the previous base square shape. However, if you want to apply this skirt to make a different design, attach different details to it, and change the pose, it is recommended to modify the pattern as it is now to make it a stable garment. Save the completed garment as a project file. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more.
If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below, and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on and where to get Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channel in the link below.